India vast diverse beautiful ancient India is the seventh largest country on earth and also the second most populated with over a billion people people from various religions political beliefs and ethnicities work interact pray and live here India is the birthplace of Hinduism. The word ahimsa, which means peace and non-violence to all, is an ancient Sanskrit word that originated as one of the key philosophies of Hinduism and is used as the basis of other religions such as Buddhism and Jainism as well. Venetian traveler Marco Polo had this to say when he encountered Jain monks. They would not kill an animal on any account, not even a fly or a flea or a louse or anything in fact that has life, for they say all these have souls. and it would be a sin to do so although ahimsa is a core principle of hinduism both meat consumption and animal sacrifice are mentioned in the vedas so there are sacrifices in temples where goats pigs and buffaloes are murdered in a belief to appease the gods vegetarianism was also born here in india over 20% of the population of india does not consume the flesh of any animal and has been that way for several thousand years as is a part of their culture in hinduism the cow is given special treatment and is called as gomata meaning mother it is believed that all the gods exist in the body of the cow and that harming her is one of the if not the greatest of sins in hinduism dairy has been touted as amrutam meaning elixir of life one of the hindu deities lord krishna was shown to be an avid consumer of dairy in his childhood the use of dairy and its by products such as ghee and curd in hindu rituals has been going on for thousands of years people also believe that there is a humane way that is an ahimsa way to produce milk without harming the cow although this method is currently not followed in india people love to believe that it does so that they can indulge in dairy as food and for their prayers without a guilty conscience majority of the traditional indian vegetarian foods are either vegan by default or can be veganized with minimum effort foods like idli dosa sambar chutney puri poha chapati rasam kurma pongal kichdi uttapam idiyappam aloo gobi channa masala rajma chawal lemon rice tomato rice and the list just keeps going and going but vegetarianism in india had an ugly side to it as well in india there exists a system of hierarchy known as caste system meaning based on the job one does or the family they are born into a caste is assigned to them at the top most of this structure are the brahmins and at the bottom the shudras brahmins abstain from eating meat and use this as one of the distinguishing factors to call those who did as impure and themselves as pure in indian history vegetarianism unfortunately was one of the tools used in discriminating against other humans and treating them unfairly and the impact casteism has made can be felt till today by millions Majority of the Indians who have a left-wing political belief stand against veganism. Some unintentionally compare it to new age Brahminism as they believe vegans are trying to create a difference among the crowd in terms of eating habits again. But such people fail to understand that vegans condemn everyone who exploits animals including Brahmins. The very fact that we want others to be like us shows that there will not be room for a discriminating factor based on meat consumption to exist. And this one point in itself shows that veganism has nothing to do with Brahminism. Majority of the Indians who have a right-wing political belief also reject veganism because they feel it is a western agenda that is trying to ruin Indian culture. They have a false notion that we are aiding western corporates in killing off native Indian breeds of animals, especially cattle. and then promoting the sales of soy based meat and dairy alternatives despite the fact that everything they already engage in from work to clothing to hobbies and the very way they produce dairy is western they refuse to go vegan as it is not entirely an indian concept the word vegan and the act of not consuming dairy may be western but choosing to be kind and respectful to the existence of animals is not western saints all across india from ancient times to modern days have all shunned the consumption of meat and unnecessary violence done to animals be it a minority religion like islam or christianity or a caste that was oppressed in the past like dalits human selfishness is constant throughout when confronted with the ideological concept of veganism people especially those who are from a minority or oppressed background suddenly claim to be the victims according to them when a vegan asks them not to cut the throat of an innocent animal to appease their taste buds or the god they believe in they become the victims and the vegans the victimizer they intentionally refuse to talk about the actual victims the animals as that would require them to change their hypocritical ways we are willing to sell out our morals and values for profit 
we are willing to exploit torture and murder animals so that we can earn more money just because our religion and our ancestors teach us as non-violence does not mean that we are non-violent in this globalized world indians are just like everyone else and animals remain the most profitable and easiest to exploit all of this may have sounded extremely negative and makes the situation of animals in india seem absolutely hopeless and to a large extent that is the reality but there is a small tiny glimmer of hope back in the early years of the previous decade israel managed to break headlines and shake the world with the number of people deciding to go vegan there this in turn inspired so many more people the world over to change as well if a geographically small country like israel could create such a huge impact which would go forth to change the vegan scene the world over one could only imagine what even a fraction of the population of india turning vegan would do for veganism on a global level veganism is spreading among indians there are people and groups on a grassroots level that are trying their best to educate the masses on the reality through street outreaches educational videos online rallies lectures articles and so much more there are celebrities in india now who are doing whatever they can to help the vegan movement as well from starting vegan restaurants to creating their own mock meat companies individual entrepreneurs are also coming up to cater to different people in india with vegan options for various products ranging from traditional sweets to dairy alternatives to fried chicken and a few honest spiritual leaders are promoting veganism at full force after coming to know the cruelty behind animal farming and its impact on the environment Many vegans in India have gone above and beyond to create sanctuaries where rescued farm animals can have another chance at life. Despite facing death threats on a daily from slaughterhouse workers, some rescuers are still relentlessly doing everything in their power to save these innocent lives that are headed for imminent slaughter. India is nowhere near to being a vegan nation, and the struggle to reach that goal with the country's socio-political and economic problems is truly an uphill battle. But we haven't lost hope. We do keep fighting. and maybe one day we can once again call our country the land of ahimsa